Welcome back to Bloom. We all love to listen to music, but did you know that it has health benefits? Music therapy has been proven to provide comfort and improve the quality of life for many patients, especially patients with Alzheimer's and dementia. Joining us is music therapist Julie Martin. Welcome, Julie. Thank you, Carissa. So this is so excited, and I'm really excited to hear about the benefits, but first of all, I want to know, what do you have with you? I have brought with me an instrument that music therapists often use within our sessions, and it's called a cue chord. Okay, what does it sound like? It, well, it sounds like this. This is kind of harp-like. Yes. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. cool. So tell me a little bit about how you got started with music therapy. I'd be happy to. <laughs> with that little musical tone there. <laughs> yes. I had a wonderful high school band experience, and during that time I could see how music was really helping my fellow students who maybe didn't have such a, a good life or struggled mm -hmm. in school and that okay. sort of thing. So I think that's where the seeds were planted. Yeah. And I thought I wanted to be a band director, but realized my personality really just didn't fit that. Mm -hmm. So I looked into to music therapy a little bit more and thought, yes, this is it. This is how I want to use music to make a difference in the lives of other people. And how are you doing that on a day-to-day -day basis in your classes? Well, um, as I worked as a music therapist, I would go visit with patients and we talked about Alzheimer's and dementia. I would introduce myself and use the music to create that connection. Mm -hmm. And from that point, I would uh, use music that was familiar to them and see how they would respond. So the therapist would also be constantly assessing that response to the music and knowing what the patient may have needed, be it a physical need or emotional or even a social interaction. So basing on that, I would create a musical intervention using the music that the patient likes to create um, that engagement and also that reaction that helps to improve that quality of life mm -hmm. and, and gives me a chance to assess where that patient is um, emotionally, physically, mm -hmm. spiritually, and give that back to the team that I worked on. Very cool. So do you have an experience that sort of stands out to you from your therapy? Yes, I sure do. Um, one of the things that music really helps with is to motivate somebody to move. Mm -hmm. And with patients who have Alzheimer's and dementia, sometimes they uh, have trouble getting from one place to another because here they are sitting in their chair, they're having a fine time watching television or doing whatever they do and now it's time for them to go have care done. So for example, it could be having their shower or going mm -hmm. to dinner, that sort of thing. So one particular patient that I had was not easily motivated to get up out of her chair okay. and walk down the hallway. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I, I knew the, a song that she really, really liked. So the aide that was working with her helped her to stand up. Okay. And then I broke into five foot two, eyes of blue. Oh, what those five feet can do. Has anybody seen my girl? And so I would emphasize that rhythm mm -hmm. and she started to move back and forth so the so fantastic yes yeah. and it gets better because the aide took her hands and she walked backwards while the patient walked forwards and we were able to safely and happily mm -hmm. move her down the hallway so to using the not only the music to get kind of what you needed medically but also to put her in a positive space so that the whole situation was much more positive yes absolutely I love that where do you see the future of music therapy going? Oh, I love this question. <laughs> <laughs> because music therapists are always adapting. We're mm -hmm. always looking for best practices. So in the recent years, we're looking at uh, trauma-informed therapy. Okay, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're that's in, good connection. Yes. And we're looking at how we can best support the LGBTQ community. And also looking at the cultural diversity of the clients and patients that we work with. So we're always looking for that. Where I see the true evolution for music therapy is that we will become leaders in healthcare. And mm -hmm. why is that? That's because in healthcare, consumers are looking for different ways. They're looking for a more holistic mm -hmm. approach. Definitely, yep. That's mm -hmm. something we see all the time here. And I love what you're doing and how you plan to expand it as well. If you guys want to find out more information, I will tell you. Will you play a little song while I give out this information? <laughs> all right. If you guys want more information, you can visit empath, that's E-M-P-A-T-H, health.org, or call 727-467-7000. 
seven four two three. Thank you, Julie and Bloom. We'll be right back. Thank you.